we had a problem under our fence. Um, our neighbor's dog was uh, actually barking, carrying on underneath their own fence. And because of our chain link, that would really um, upset Piper and she re react and her bucket would just fill like immediately. So we came up with a solution. I found this fabric uh, that you put on with the zip ties. Um, and then it has the little um, rivets in it. So you put the zip ties through that. Did not come with in instructions. So uh, we figured it out. It was pretty simple though. You're doing this because of you, you know. Yeah, that's gonna be your new barrier. Maybe to help you forget about things. Stay calm in the backyard. First thing we did was uh, pull away some of the mulch that was by our fence so that we could get uh, to the lower part of the fence. Then we laid out the 50 feet of fabric, uh, just lined it up against the fence. It did not go the full length of our fence, but it covered up most of it. Then we just started at the top corner, put the first zip tie on and did the sides and then started the tops and the bottoms. <laughs> like I said. First lesson was the zip ties were not meant to go around the poles. Uh, they're meant to go in the actual links. Uh, with no instructions, we quick, quickly figured that one out though. So Frank's doing the tops and I'm doing the bottoms. Basically, I'm reaching. Well, hello. That, that's not good. That's a problem, Daddy. <laughs> um, Piper. Yeah, you got a long ways to back up, baby. So glad that Piper's a pretty smart dog and she got herself out of that mess. Okay, so this is how I'm pulling it through, looped it through, and just pull the zip tie. I'm just getting it on the lowest uh, length that I can and pulling it tight. Overall, it probably took us about 20 25 minutes to put the fabric up. And just wait till you see how it improves Piper's behavior with the fence. Check these videos out. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Good girl. Good girl.